So I'm hopping on the bandwagon and doing a DIY ceramic vase tutorial, but mine is a little bit different. A lot of people have used this look with baking soda, so mixing acrylic paint with baking soda, but today I'm gonna to show you the material that I used to do it, which is even more inexpensive, and that is sand. So here I'm just mixing some white acrylic paint with gray and then painting that all over and I've applied or mixed in some sand as well. And I'm just going all over the vase. So I found this vase for free. It was actually my neighbors that she was giving for free because they were moving. And I loved the shape of it, but I didn't love the pattern. So I wanted to create this concrete look. So I just kept layering different amounts of gray that I would just mix, like I said, some white with gray and even a little bit of black. And I did about two to three layers of that mixed with the sand just to create more texture. I would go horizontal strokes and then try and bring in some vertical strokes just so it really looked handmade. And I really think that this, the sand creates a really neat texture. I haven't done a lot with baking soda and I know that that's the popular choice right now, but I really love the sand look because it just looks weathered and you can really create a lot of texture and movement using the brush. This is just a sponge brush. I think it was 90 cents I got from Michaels. And then the acrylic paint, I'll link below the colors that I use, but you can really do any colors that you like. You know, a terracotta, burnt sienna, you can do browns, you can do more of like a beige tone, whatever you want. So we'll just speed this through. Here what I'm doing is I'm adding in a darker color. So I mixed black mainly and brown actually with a little bit of white just to make it a little less intense. And then I'm just rubbing that all over. Do this with the layer underneath that's wet so that it actually blends a little bit better. The other thing I wish I would have done is maybe used a sponge as opposed to the actual brush. But I did like the amount of texture that it provided but the when I was doing this more layered painting I actually didn't have any sand in it so I had built up enough of that using the previous layers so I didn't feel like I needed it and it was just easier to have a little more texture so I'm just brushing it on and then I'm going to use a dry cloth to just damp it off and the great thing with this is I actually did this once and did too much black and sort of too much darkness based on the look that I wanted. And so I actually just repainted a layer and then just redid it. So you can really build it up, which is great. And if you feel like you don't love the look of it, you wanna add something that looks a little bit different or you did a little too much, just repaint it. It's really easy and that's the best thing with this is you can't really mess it up. And it just has a really neat worn in finish. So the great thing with this DIY is you can customize it to whatever your home decor is color wise, color scheme. It's really versatile and you can use, like I said, a sponge. You can do what I did and use a brush. It's really whatever you want to do. But I love the sand look. Like I said, it looks very real and I love how unique it is. It's a little different than what everyone else is doing. And I styled it with some fake eucalyptus leaves. I'm thinking of putting this in our bathroom, but I'm loving the look of it. I think that this looks really nice. And thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below if you try this and you like the effects of it, or if you have done the baking soda ceramics before. But again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.